Maintaining composure is an important part of being a leader on the fire ground. Let's see how it's done. Farm engine 5, engine 11, engine 12, ladder 5, ladder 13, rest 5, squad 3, squad 2, battalion 2, battalion 178, 448 Texas Street Northeast, have a report of a structure fire. All units could attack one in route, 448 Texas Northeast. Engine 5 is on scene. This is a two story, it's like a four flex. You have smoke showing from all four feet on Division 1. This is a working fire. Engine 4, stake in Texas. They're correction. Engine 5, stake in Texas command. The offensive stretch into the quarter line. That was an awesome size up, and I'm always impressed when officers of any age give a calm, cool, collected size up in the middle of a structure fire because you know what's going through their head is Downtown! So what made that size up so good? Well, the first thing he did is before that truck even stopped, he gave orders to his jump guys, telling them, I need you to pull this cross lay. And so they know exactly what's expected of them. They don't jump off the truck and they're wandering around trying to figure out what to do. The next thing that he did is he explained exactly what he saw. Now that's important for several reasons, but number one, it's important for dispatch. So dispatch knows what to expect because a lot of times dispatch will give you the wrong information and it's not necessarily their fault. A lot of times people that are there on scene give incorrect information or they don't say something that's important. So when he pulled up and you heard him say it's a fourplex, fire from multiple openings on division one, dispatch and every other incoming unit knew exactly what to expect as soon as they got on scene. The next thing that he did is he established who was in command. He said he was on engine five and that he would be taking Texas command. Now you'll hear a lot of them say whatever the street that that incident is on. That's important to say in your size up so that everybody knows exactly where command will be established. And generally that's also the place that will be considered the alpha side or the front part of the building where the command will be established and the attack will begin. And then finally, the last thing he did is he explained to everybody what he was planning on doing. He was going to go offensive, which means he's going to pull a line and go in. And he was pulling an inch and three quarter line. Again, this is important to everybody coming behind them so that they know what to expect. Am I going to be pulling a backup line? Is this a really big fire? Is he going to plan on going defensive? How is he going to handle this and what can I expect when I get on scene? That was a phenomenal size up from this officer. Okay, two copy, on scene, two story complex with uh, smoke showing multiple points on the for division one. Engine five has a working fire in command and the office strategy. Also, I got to give a shout out to that dispatcher. That dispatcher is doing a very good job. Dispatching is a very difficult job and they are way underappreciated. So when you do get a good dispatcher, they're worth their weight in gold. Ladder five on scene. Is anybody inside, ma'am? Captain, who's in there? Also, it's important to note that those two jump guys you see standing there masking up, getting ready to go in, this was their first 24 hours on shift. And I think these guys did a great job. And also in the description of the original video, which I'll leave in the link below, this was also the engineer's first day who did a great job pulling past the structure, giving his officer an opportunity to see three sides of the structure so he could give a great size up. Thank you, Daniel. 
So they go on to put out the fire and save the day. But what was so good specifically about what this guy did? Well, he was cool, calm, and collected the entire time and had a fantastic command presence. Gave a great size up, stayed with his guys and coached them through everything, when to advance, when to open the bale, shut it down, where to find the seat of the fire. Did a good job finding out if there were any bystanders or any victims in the home still, as well as coordinating with the ladder company. And keep in mind, this guy had an entirely new engine crew. So it's awesome to see an officer doing a great job like this. And if you want to see another great video about the importance of command presence, you should check out this one right here.